Hey everybody, it's me again. Okay, you know Kenzie and I are making these cute little bags from the Sew for Home pattern book. Aprons. I wanted to show you, oh yeah, aprons. Apron, yeah. I wanted to show you, this is what I'm doing right now. I have some store-bought bias tape, and it's actually just a remnant. I mean, I think this is right here, all that's, all that's left. Anyway, what I've done is I've taken this cording that's off a spool, and I have pressed my bias tape open, and I have put it, I pressed it open, and then I put my cording inside of the um, bias tape, and I pinned it over just like this, and now I have put my zipper foot on my machine. And as you can see, the zipper foot is sitting right here, just like this, and I'm lengthen the stitch on my machine to about a four and a half five and I'm basting this in so I'm making my own piping out of store-bought bias tape you can also do this with your own bias tape that you make from you know your own bias tape which is easy to do and we'll cover that some other time but I'm just I pressed it with my um iron just a little bit just to help flatten it out but I'm just stitching right along just like this. So here you go. Now I did cut the cording longer than the bias tape because the bias tape, as we all know, bias tape stretches. You see here, just going right along just like this. And let it come right off the end needle up lift your presser foot and cut your threads and there you go so this is ready to be inserted into the apron that I'm getting ready to make for here at the store and Kenzie's been working on her own over there she's got two strips of a real pretty green and so we are moving on on our project all right, thank y'all for sharing this with me. We'll be back. Hi, Cindy.